tourism is, is one industry that's really reliant on a stable climate. So for example, a beach holiday or a mountain holiday all requires stable climate. So essentially, we're providing information about future climate scenarios, whether that be on a season ahead or long-term climate projections, to understand how climate change may impact destinations. Three groups, two operators, destination managers, and businesses like hotel managers or campsite, etc., needs to know what is in future. Is there a fire weather threat? What about temperature changes? What about uh, snow in winter in the mountains? What about uh, lake surface temperature for swimmers? And how can they, for example, prolong the season or respond to extreme situations? We want to translate the data and, and the tools that we are developing as part of the infrastructure into real decision, into tools that the decision makers in different sectors can, uh, can use directly. There are a lot of stakeholders who are interested in how uh, climate change is affecting tourism across Europe and how the suitability of different areas might change over the next 10, 30 or 50 years and how the flows of tourism might change. Uh, and the SIS European Tourism Project has produced a lot of data sets that are going to help uh, people within the tourism sector um, understand how those changes might affect them in the future. There is so much information out there and the reliability of the data and the up-to-date data and the usefulness of the data is important. Now in the Copernicus project for the European tourism sector, there are four apps which are highly relevant to different types of decision makers and types of destinations. I think the sectoral information system is important because it allows these data sets to be tailored to the specific needs of a particular community. And so within this project, we're able to produce more specific, tailored indicators for each of those sectors so they can make use of the data more easily.